All right, thank you for tuning in to another Black Ops trading tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be discussing order entry. Depending on your broker and the way that your account is set up, will determine what you will or will not be able to do in the equities markets. It should be noted that there are several types of accounts but basically you have your cash account and you have your margin account. With the margin account you're able to basically borrow funds from your broker and you'll be able to purchase stocks more cheaply because you're doing it on margin. So that gives you some type of leverage such as two to one leverage basically. With a cash account you're not able to borrow uh, funds from the broker. It's all cash. Everything's settled in cash. And because of that, you're not able to really swing trade or day trade. Only thing you can really do is basically buy and hold because they make you wait several days after you've uh, put on a trade. It's like three days for the you know, account to clear or what, what have you. It's really kind of ridiculous. Really no one uses a cash account anymore. All brokerages accounts, for the most part, are margin accounts, unless otherwise noted. I know a lot of firms do that. They automatically default as a, as a margin account. You have to specify if you don't want a margin account. Um, the firms that I like and I recommend, I do not get paid. I'm not endorsed by them to recommend them. But it's Think or Swim by TD Ameritrade or interactive brokers. The Thinkorswim uh, trading platform to me is by far the best that I've ever used. There's so much you can do with it. It's just amazing. I don't see how anyone can trade without it, is in my opinion. Uh, on the TD Ameritrade side of things, they also have another type of platform, but it's just equity based only. The Thinkorswim uh, platform allows you to trade equities, options on equities, commodity futures, options on commodity futures, and Forex. So you can trade everything on the Thinkorswim platform. On the TG Ameritrade side of things, you can only trade equities, but they do have a pretty slick platform uh, for doing that, a separate platform than the Thinkorswim. But for the most part, if you're trading the pulse waves, you really want to be with uh, Thinkorswim platform. It's just hands down that's what you want. Round turn commissions. Trades are executed on what is called round turn uh, commissions. And the way that works is you're hit with a with a flat fee for every trade that you do. A trade is considered an, an entry and an exit. Some firms break it down such as $3 a side. When they say aside, it's it's the same thing really as a flat fee. What they do is they just break it down so it can sound cheaper. You know what I mean? Like for instance, let's say a firm charges ten dollars around a round turn to do a trade. That means if you buy a hundred shares of Apple um, and then you sell it, that's your ten dollars. All right, that's your fee. That's a round turn. A round turn is an entry followed by an exit. So it's ten it's ten bucks but they could advertise and say five dollars a side because it sound that sounds better than just saying ten dollars so it's five dollars when you buy and then they hit you with another five dollars when you sell so some firms break it down like that other firms they don't they just hit you with the flat fee the round turn fee and even the ones that hit you with the round turn fee sometimes they still break it down when you look at your uh, account side of your statement on the platform it'll say it'll show like you know if it's if it's ten dollars round turn five dollars when you bought it did another five dollars when you sold it it's the same thing but for the most part I think of swim I think it's nine ninety nine um that's their round turn for trading equities and then nineteen dollars for trading options to be quite frankly with you that's pretty much industry standard is nineteen dollars for options that's standard and the nine dollars and ninety nine cent for equities is pretty much standard. The cheapest guy in the room 
is what you're looking at right here. This is interactive brokers. Depending on the size of your account and how much you trade, uh, you can get interactive brokers down to literally pennies per trade, like 25 cents a round turn, a dollar a round turn. Uh, I'm not kidding. You, they're the cheapest guy on the planet. I don't know any firm that can compete with interactive brokers on price. The downside is they don't have all the bells and whistles that the Thinkorswim platform has. Interactive brokers is better for very large accounts people who do hundreds if not thousands of round turns per month that's who that's for that's you know your your hedge fund your CTAs commodity pool operators fund managers private equity firms people like that who have who do massive volume of trades that's who goes with interactive brokers for the most part just to be honest with you uh, because they can trade for pennies per round turn or a dollar a round turn. And I think their futures, if I remember correctly, I was only hit like with, back when I traded with them, it was like $3 or something. I mean, they, they work with you depending on how much round turns and stuff you do. So that's the difference on the round turns. Now, I know some of you, you know, in the Black Ops trading room, we have people from literally every continent on the planet literally people from all over the world so your brokers are going to be different there are different rules and laws that govern your continent your country so it's not going to necessarily be the same I have found in my experience that some of the uh, international brokers those of you who are overseas you guys have more flexibility than those of us in the United States Especially like the, uh, some of you that are, you know, affiliate with the London Exchange. If I'm correct, you guys still can trade uh, futures and commodities and stuff in one account. And you don't have to do a whole bunch of paperwork either. Uh, you guys offer, they offer securities and things there that they just don't do here in the States. And you don't have the pattern day trade rule thing either. To my understanding, that's just a United States situation. So... We're going to get into that too, but real quick, if you're trading with interactive brokers, your your screen is pretty standard. You can control what your defaults are, but let's just go over some of these real quick. Um, also, um, put a quick note in here. Uh, at one point in my Wall Street career, uh, I ran the trade desk, which means that I had to place orders for our clients and make sure everything was was routed correctly and that there was entered correctly so you have the benefit of a person that has knowledge to teach you these things which is very rare all right so you have your GTC which is a good to cancel and then you have your day orders Remember, we talked about that in the prior video for the most part when you're trading the pulse wave system you always want to use the good till canceled orders where possible there will be situations where you may not be able to do that, and we'll get into that later on. But for the most part, you want to do good till cancel. If you're not able to do that, then you can put it as a day order, but you're just going to have to um, you know, watch it. And then the next trading day, make sure you put your, your orders back in. Or at the end of the current trading day, trading session, you go ahead and put your order back in. Because if you put it as a day order, it's going to expire um, when the trading session ends. It's going to expire. All right, that's what it means to have a day order. So, for example, in the United States, the markets open uh, at 9:30 a.m. and stop trading at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, yeah, Eastern Standard Time. There's also what is called extended trading hours, where you have what is called your pre-market, where some securities, just go off the top of my head, they may start trading at like 7 a.m. in the morning or 8 a.m. in the morning, and they'll trade up until like 9:15, like you know. Yeah, 15 minutes before the 9:30 session starts, and then you have your extended trading hours where they'll they'll trade they'll continue to trade past four o'clock, and they'll trade up until if I understand correctly, I can't remember. Um, this is an early morning video, but I think it's like eight o'clock at night or something, seven or eight o'clock at night, something like that. Um, but if you want to be sure, because again, I'm just going by memory. I don't really do extended hours, obviously, that much. Uh, I have done them in the past 
but I really don't just because the pulse wave system is I've simplified it so that you don't have to do that but for the most part if you go to your uh, broker's website they have all of those uh, exchange times for you when you know certain markets are available for you to trade and things like that so you can you can look that up on your own it's not a big deal all right on this side here you see STP that's your stop okay so you can see in this example here this is selling and then here's the quantity 500 shares good to cancel order on a stop so that's what you want your sale to look like sell your quantity in this column here the type of order and then the type of order you're doing so this is the good to you know day order good to cancel and then the type of order like stop limit market so STP is your stop that's how you want to do it I've also noticed too that some brokers too they won't let you do but so much like for instance if you're gonna um, put an order in to buy 500 shares and then you want to put your stop loss and that's fine because you can do conditional tickets where you put your order in accompanied with the stop simultaneously that's a conditional order make sure your broker has that not all brokers are the same like I was saying not all brokers support all order types not all brokers will allow you to trade certain markets not all brokers will allow you to do certain order types so you have to know what your broker allows and if you don't know then you need to you know go to their website view it or call their trade desk uh, you know you need to do that call their customer service line and have them walk you through what's available and when it's available and that segues me to my next point this is imperative it's so important how you set your account up listen to me good on this it is what it is if you're gonna be trading you have to be no holds barred your broker traditionally especially the, the more vanilla type brokers what I mean by that is that they're traditional they're ultra conservative and things like that they have you fill out a questionnaire of what type of investor you are and for the most part most individuals whether they even know it or not are what is called risk averse a risk averse individual is not going to take a lot of risk which means they're not really going to see a lot of reward all right when it comes to trading the financial markets and dealing with Wall Street risk is accompanied by reward so the level of your risk determines the level of your reward no risk no reward we do not avoid risk in the stock market we accept risk in the stock market but it's not just ridiculous risk it's managed risk you cannot eliminate risk there's risk in everything we do in life but when it comes to trading the markets we accept risk and we manage risk that's how you uh, keep from blowing up your account and getting your face ripped off we manage risk how do we manage risk we manage risks with stops you've heard it said before that you buy low and sell high I'm gonna tell you that that is not true you actually buy high and sell higher or you sell high and buy back lower that's trading the other thing that they're telling you is ridiculous trying to buy low or buying weakness there's a time to do that but you only do that in certain market conditions there's a time to sell strength but you only do that in certain market conditions you do not just arbitrarily buy weakness oh I'm buying low and you do not arbitrarily just sell strength oh it was a nice rally I'm selling it no it's a good way to get destroyed and I think I've shown that in prior videos with different examples so moving on this is another thing I want to show you real quick if I can pull it up okay yes this this screen right here okay not only is it important to kinda of the way you set up your account but it's also important in the amount of money you fund your account worth. You see this right here? Three round trips until PDT threshold. Scott Trade does not promote day trading. Okay. We talked about round trips and what those are. That's entries and exits. 
An entry and an exit followed by an exit is one round round turn or round trip. PDT threshold, what is that? PDT is your pattern day trader. All right, pattern day trader rule came out after the collapse of the Nasdaq bubble back in 2000. People were crying and clamoring, saying they didn't understand the risks associated with trading in the financial markets, and they lost their shirt, got their faces ripped off, got their heads decapitated, and they wanted the government to come in and rescue them and bail them out. So there were class action lawsuits flying all over the place. Some people were recompensated. Most people were not made people have a sour taste in their mouth. They walked away from the markets and never came back again. So the government said, okay, fine. You want our help. You want us to intervene. You want us to save you from yourselves. Okay, so be it. Here's what we're going to do. They created the pattern day trade rule that says, if you have less than $25,000 in your account as margin, and, and what they mean by that is, 25,000 is just margin. You can't touch it. It has to set there. Anything above and beyond 25,000 that you put in your account is your is your tradable funds. The 25 you can't touch. It has to stay there and be there at all times. If you do not have $25,000 in marginable cash sitting in your account at all times, you will not be able to just day trade unlimited. All right? Cuz they they're, they're saying you technically uh, undercapitalized for day trading. Therefore, we will allow you three round trips in a rolling five-day period. Three day trades in a rolling five-day period before your account is locked up. And what happens is, if you violate this rule, your account will be locked up which means that you won't be able to trade in that account anymore until you deposit $25,000 or more into your account. All right, and to my understanding, if they haven't changed how they operate, that could affect you for up to six months. All right, so that sucks. You do not want to be labeled as a pattern day trader if you have less than $25,000 on your account. All right, that's how it works. The good thing is, though, with the pulse wave system, we don't day trade anyway. We swing trade. The average pulse wave trends within any given market last anywhere from three to five days. Therefore, we always hold overnight in every position that we take in every market. The exception to this rule is that if there is a huge, huge parabolic move like during the Brexit, we will take the profit and run immediately because that's an abnormality within the market. Markets just don't move parabolically for no reason like that. So when they do, and you see yourself with a substantial gain, you go ahead and you liquidate that bad boy. And then set aside uh, for the end of the trading session to see at what price you will re-enter the market, if at all. That's how we do. We call that Christmas gifts, early Christmas gifts. Sometimes the market will give you early Christmas gifts huge parabolic moves or super hyper parabolic moves like the day of the May the 6th 2010 flash crash. If the Dow gives you a thousand points in a trade, oh, you better take that thousand points unless you're an idiot. Take that money and run. That's what we do. So that's the only exception to the three, to, to our, our swing trade position trade setups is that we will do a day trade per se if the market gives parabolic gains, which is less than 1% of the time. It's less than 1% of the time that you will get those hyper parabolic moves. All right. You have to have a Brexit. You have to have a flash crash. You have to have 9-11. You have to have something crazy to make this happen. So other than this, this does not affect most people. It won't affect anybody if you stick to the system. You're not going to get stopped out intraday if you stick to the system. Less than 1% of the time, we will get stopped out um, 
in the market in one day. All right, immediately. Sometimes that happens, okay? The whipsaws do happen. We cannot avoid them. We just manage them, all right? So I wanted to show you all this because that was very important, how you set up your account. Now, pattern day trade rule. If you are labeled as a pattern day trader and you have, <clears throat> excuse me, more than uh, 25000 in your account, <clears throat> excuse me, there's nothing wrong with hitting, you know, being a pattern day trader. Pattern day traders have benefits, okay? One of the benefits of the pattern day trader is they uh, they give you lower margin. Uh, for instance, let's say the average margin account who has a hundred thousand dollars in it, they'll they'll give you two hundred thousand dollars of buying power, right? Well, on the pattern day trader, he may have four or five hundred thousand dollars of buying power on his hundred thousand dollars in his account. That's a that's an added bonus because they know you're going to you're going to be trading in and out and you're going to do a lot of round turns so it behooves them to up your margin for you so that you can trade more size so that's the benefit of being a pattern day trader so if you got a hundred thousand a hundred fifty thousand or more in your trading account you're not concerned about the pattern day trade rule because you're not going to lose you're not going to use up all of your your cash for margin on any given trade and you're not going to really do on any day trading on the pulse wave system so it's cool it doesn't matter but for the majority of people the the, the truth is most people yeah most people their account size the average account size is like ten thousand dollars that's like the national average so that's not going to really apply to most of you so like i said uh, we're not going to be doing any day trading but if you see significant profits by all means, you're going to take those profits. But the Postway system is designed for you to stay in a trade on average three to five days. So if you get long on Monday, you'll probably stay in the position until Friday. Just moving your stops to lock in profit as you go. That's just the way it is. So with that said, remember, bulls make money, bears make money, but pigs get slaughtered. So remember to take what you can, give nothing back.